squared marshmallows. You ever seen a squared marshmallow in your life? They're freaking huge. They're supposed to be good for uh, s'mores. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. This is an old bag. You ever play Chubby Bunny? Chubby Bunny. <laughs> Those freaking shoes. Oh. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh gosh. All right. All jokes aside. What's up guys? I wanted to do a quick video on my top five Android Marshmallow features. So without further ado, let's get started. The first on my list is called Now on Tap. And the way you use it is you long press on the home button and it does a contextual search based on what's on your screen. So let me elaborate more on that. So say for example, you have a buddy who sends you a text message and says, hey, let's go out to Benihana, which is a restaurant and you want to learn more about this restaurant, rather than copying and pasting Benihana or doing a Google search, all you do is long press on the home button and it'll actually bring up results based on that restaurant. And the best thing about it is that it also works on other applications too. So say for example, the other day I was on Instagram and somebody posted a Philly cheesesteak that looked really good. Rather than me doing a Google search, all I needed to do was long press on the home button and right then and there I can find out more about this restaurant. Now, now on tap isn't perfect and I can only imagine it's going to get better in the future. For example, if I take a picture of an Xbox, let's just say the box itself, and I do a now on tap, it doesn't work, nothing happens. And I think that Google has a technology to make this work as a Google image search. So if you take that same image and you take it to Google on your computer and do an image search, it will actually bring up results. So hopefully in the future, we'll see that type of integration. It's one of the best features in Android Marshmallow that I can see getting better and better. So the second one on my list is called Doze, and this is gonna give you a lot better standby time. Basically, when you leave your phone unattended for a couple of minutes and the screen is off, your phone will enter the state of Doze. And what happens is the system's going to attempt to conserve battery by restricting apps access to network and CPU intensive services, which means you're gonna get better standby time and overall longer lasting battery. And in my testing, I'm getting really good battery when my phone is just on standby, not doing anything, so definitely a plus. Now, number three on my list is a new app permission structure that has been baked into Android. In a nutshell, you now have control of what applications have access to what. Say, for example, Facebook. Let's say you wanna revoke access to your location, or let's say you don't wanna give Facebook any permissions at all. You can edit each app individually, or you can see a list of how many apps have access to each type of permission and make your changes accordingly. Now, number four might seem like a small change, but it's actually important to me, and that's do not disturb. So I like the fact that you can set up different rules. So say, for example, on the weekends, you like to go out and you want your do not disturb to start at two o'clock in the morning and end, let's say, at 11 o'clock because you like to sleep in. But during the week, since you go to work, let's say you want your do not disturb to start at 10 p.m. at night and then end at six o'clock in the morning. Or let's just say you go to work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and you want those days to be different. Do not disturb also works with calendar events too, which is very convenient. And finally, number five on my list is the System UI Tuner. Now to the ROMing community, this is going to be nothing special, but I like the fact that Google actually baked this into Android because it shows where Android is headed, basically giving users more control and more freedom to do whatever they want with their phone. Take for example, being able to customize the quick toggles from the pull down menu, or being able to modify the status bar icons and hide the ones you don't care about or show the ones you do. So I wanna know what your top five Android Marshmallow features are. Leave me a comment down below. Anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you hit that like button as it does help out the channel. Thanks again for watching and you'll catch me in the next one. Adios. I can't talk right now. Oh my gosh. The first, the first feature. I can't talk. <laughs> the first feature. <laughs> oh my god. The first feature on my list. <laughs> oh, shit. oh man. I'm sweating. Alright. Alright. Hold on. Alright. Game face. <clears throat>